My friends, Guil Malinois, my big friend and supporter, thank you for your support and thank you for your recommendation. A second meeting with Pineapple Thief. This time, a drum cam split screen. Our Meyer. The song is Treat You One Go. My friend Guil Malinois, finally high quality music, <laughs> finally high quality music in this channel with you every time, but this time finally again high quality music, finally. I didn't wake up intended to sigh. friend Will Malinois Whoa. <laughs> what an excellent drumming again by this drummer here in the groove but also here in this little uh, this little feel drum feel virtuoso feel Half a second time better this drum feels and I was I was thinking about how much astonishing impressive amazing musicians are out there you know what I mean this band is impressive and this one is the second band of this excellent drummer and here the supporting cast the lineup of this band is composed by different musicians. But everyone is so good, each one of them.
solo also. When you stumbled on, is someone you're looking for to push you away to time? That's what we were for. When we stumbled on. My friend, my friend with Malinois and all you watchers, viewers, the harmony, the harmony in this song is impressive. Malinois. This is pure art. You know what I mean? Pure art. Kneeling on the shore, looking down. We are face to face, to the ground. Very intense, very deep content also inside this one. Headphones out now. But I have to tell you, my friend Will Malinois and all Pineapple Thief fans and Porcupine Tree fans and other new progressive rock bands fans. Every time uh, sad vibes, depressive vibes a bit, even if very meaningful, very deep, this is an English style of composition, you know what I mean? Very far from what I used to be as an Italian myself and my Italian followers, I think, are understanding me. Of course, also in Italy, a lot of shit around, but different kind of vibes in music. I mean, uh, Pineapple Thieves, 
Riverside, Porcupine Tree are sending you smooth, thin, uh, deep interior vibes with their music. I'm more familiar with the explosion of the feelings in their total expression in a very, very uh, violent way also, but very visceral, you know what I mean? Very visceral, because I live in Italy and I'm more familiar with those kind of vibes. And melancholy, depressive vibes here, sad vibes every time in this music, even if, even if, with a very important meaning, with a very important uh, and meaningful content, lyrics, text, uh, execution, impersonation, action on the stage, but more than that, they are feeling the song totally. And outstanding, awesome performance by astonishing musicians, each one of them, but uh, it's really different from the Italian culture in music that is more uh, about uh, high, high, high voices and with such an emotional impact and very, very, um, man, not introverted, never. Every time expensive vibes. All man, expensive is <laughs> the opposite of cheap or oh, I express myself bad uh, I, just want, I just wanted to say we are the people of the sun so these solar fire vibes also in our music are there with those feelings expressed in such a, um, a visible way this is this English style of composition is more a smooth a thin way of expression, more intimate, you know what I mean? I'm not saying this is bad and Italian music is good. I'm not saying Italian music is wrong and this is right. I'm just noticing, noticing the, the differences, noticing the differences. However, very interesting. This drum work was insane. Thank you, my friend, for suggesting me. Touch now the window if you wanna follow me in the previous reaction. I already did to Pineapple Teeth. Now, uh, a little bit of Italian after this Pineapple Teeth song, and then see you, see you next time. Ragazzi, ho detto che il modo di comporre l'inglese, così sottile, così intimo, è molto diverso dal, dalla nostra musica italiana e da quello che siamo abituati a digerire fin da piccoli in Italia dove le emozioni sono lanciate dalla voce e dalla musica e dai testi in maniera aperta, esuberante come il nostro popolo ha a che fare senza schermi qui invece ci sono molte vibrazioni malinconiche, depressive, tristi in testi estremamente significativi, estremamente interessanti, estremamente profondi, uh, dove però vedi questi musicisti straordinari, perché ognuno di loro sono dei musicisti straordinari e durante l'esibizione mi stavo chiedendo quanti cavoli di straordinari musicisti ci sono al mondo anche poco conosciuti. Questo è il batterista che suona già nei Porcupine Tree, suona anche qui e mm, qui si circonda di altri musicisti straordinari, ma... Mm, al di là di questo notavo proprio le differenze culturali nell'impatto e nelle scelte musicali nel modo di trasmettere i sentimenti e non dico che l'uno è migliore e l'altro è peggiore dico che è totalmente un altro mondo testi molto profondi molto intensi e il lavoro di batteria che lui fa è di un livello altissimo questo è uno dei migliori batteristi al mondo ragazzi guardate i groove che fa guardate i feel la raffinatezza il set di batteria che ha come lo sfrutta come lo usa eccetera e e quindi se vi sono piaciuti toccate la finestra e seguitemi nella reazione che avevo già fatto allora questa è una suggerita del mio amico Guil Malinois thank you my friend Guil Malinois for your recommendation thank you for your support see you next time